Man, how much longer we got? Uh, it's only 13,033 miles south of Miami. I'm hurting. He's right, sir. We'll be there shortly. Oh, bring <laughs> Ah! Fasten your seatbelts! We're, we're approaching the island of, of Antigua with a population of 85,632 people and uh, 108.5 square miles. We're coming in hot! We're coming in hot! Race 10. Race Thanks for flying and take one Please come again. What's up? Welcome to Antigua. Antigua is the larger of the two main islands that make up Antigua and Barbuda. It is a sunny getaway. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Put your bag in the back. Alright, so just put your bags in the back. My name's Pablo. We're going to St. John's. It's the only city in Antigua. I'm giving you a tour. I'm not your bag carrier. Put your bags in the back and stop acting like a tourist. Keep your eyes open for a couple of sites on the way to the university. What's that building? Harmony Hall in Browns Bay. It's the center of the Antiguan arts community. Exhibits change throughout the year. If you look to your left, there's the Hope Plantation. Hope was the first large sugar plantation on Antigua, and its success led to the island's rapid development of large-scale sugar production, although the only surviving structures are two stone sugar mills and the remains of the still house. The site's importance in Antiguan history has prompted the government to begin developing it as an open-air museum. Look, that's the American University of Antigua. Is that Jamaica Kincaid? We wrote a book she wrote in English. I wrote a small place to introduce foreigners to Antigua. The beauty of my island distracts most tourists from the realities we natives experience because of colonization. If you remember, I wrote about government loans, Japanese cars, untrustworthy hospitals, the so-called library, and just corruption on the island. Death would have been better than colonization. We have no local culture anymore, no identity because of what has happened. This hasn't just happened to our island, but it happens all around the world. When you go somewhere, learn who they really are and help them find that again. Critics have said that I believe countries without cultures have a minister of culture. It's true. So many lands are in this position. People have said I'm disappointed and expected better from the elected government considering the slavery my people went through, and they're right. I know it's not just Antigua. I wrote this book for all to awaken to the corruption colonization has caused. This loss of culture and identity, we will regret. After the students met Jamaica Kincaid, they headed to the classroom for a discussion. Baldwin Spencer, the Prime Minister of Antigua, has been the Prime Minister since March 2004. And our second person of interest is Christopher Columbus. He founded Antigua in 1493 and named the island Santa Maria la Antigua. Another success has been in controlling and regulating gambling, which used to be unmonitored and a drain on the Antiguan society. What does that have to do with Antigua? Because through tourism, Antigua was economically exploited as a developing country. This tourism also led to environmental degradation, like erosion of the beaches and pollution of the water and natural resources of Antigua. Doesn't it provide over half the GDP of the country? 
Yes, but out of every hundred dollars, some is lost to leakage, like imports of material for construction, imports of consumer goods like foods and drinks, repartition of profits earned by foreign investors, overseas promotional expenditures, uh, mortalization of external debts incurred in the development of hotel and resorts, and only five of the original hundred remain in the Antiguan economy. What about the social issues? Poverty, crime, and disease mostly. Poverty has risen from 12% in 1994 to 18% in 2012. And in general, the lack of education, job training, and unemployment has contributed to the rise of poverty. The type of crime in Antigua consists of mostly gang activity and violence, but there is also a significant amount of violent crimes and drug activity as well. You deserve what you get. Social inequality amongst women is also a major problem with Antigua as prostitution and violence against women runs rampant. Though there is a high percentage of HIV AIDS, Antiguans have enjoyed a rise in the average lifetime as the medicine in Antigua itself has improved the quality of life of its people.